Austin, Texas, and I don't know why I'm nervous because I'm a teacher and I talk in front of people all day, but I am. <laughs> um, but I like to live my life by a tattoo in my mom's handwriting that says, always be brave, love you more, mom. And I don't want to cry, um, but I grew up hearing that phrase from my mom before I ever got sick, um, just single parent household. Um, and so I came home my last year of grad school to conduct my research back in Austin and I needed a refill on my birth control so I went to the doctor and he started with a breast exam I was 23 when he was like Sarah you have this huge lump in your breast and I was like I literally looked at him and was like are you on crack no I know <laughs> um and so I'm really thankful for him um because he I have a lot of friends that um, have had breast cancer that are like, no, I, my doctor said I was too young, but he really advocated for me and taught me to be an advocate for myself. So I went through a double mastectomy with a deep flap reconstruction. For those of you that don't know, you get to move fat from other parts of your body up top and you get like free lipo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I gained all that weight back due to menopause, yay. Um, but um, went through chemo and I said like the best feeling in the world was taking your bra off at the end of the night, but I don't wear a bra anymore because I don't need to. Um, but really taking your wig off at the end of the night or like at a red light was simply the best. Um, but so I got through that. We think uh, we thought life was grand even though I did carry the BRCA2 um, gene mutation only to find out that my mom, um, my only parent, had kidney cancer terminal. So as soon as my hair was growing back, she got diagnosed in pass. Um, I don't know why I came up here. After nine months, and two months after that, I found out that my cancer was back. Um, but I think the lessons that my mom taught me, um, and my friend Sam back there, who we met in college when she was growing her little ostrich chair back, um, and she drug me to cancer con. And I felt like that's when I really met a community that I resonated with because I joined the 40 and under breast cancer group back home, but they all had husbands and kids, and I was like, I don't fit in. So if Sam wouldn't have invited me to Cancer Con a couple of years ago, then I wouldn't have been where I am today. But um, I don't know, I just, I do teach middle school. I like to teach kids that no matter what life throws at you, whether it's, you know, abuse or addiction or illness, like, life is what you make it, so have fun doing it. And, yeah, I don't know why I'm so up here blabbering, but I'm going to be done. <laughs>